is a talk sports political correspondent, Sean Dilley, and in our central London studio is Mark Pack, who's co-editor of the Lib Dem Voice. Good morning to you both. Morning, if I can morning. speak to you first, um, Sean, what has gone so wrong in such a short space of time for the um, Deputy Prime Minister? One word, Gillian, and it's, um, it's, it's government. As simply as, because a year ago, if you look at Clegg Factor as it was, uh, we saw a situation where there was a man who, all of a sudden, he'd been no disrespect to the Liberal Democrats dreaming about uh, uh, government. I interviewed Nick Clegg, in fact I interviewed Gordon Brown and David Cameron as well in the immediate run up to polling day and he said I'm going for gold here, I really can be Prime Minister. Now after I finished choking on my coffee, mm -hmm. I spoke to him about the possibility of becoming Deputy Prime Minister and I suppose in his mind he didn't really think it was going to happen. Now the cool hard rain of uh, political uh, doom if you like has, has set in really and proper. Mark, it is very different uh, being in opposition rather than actually being within the government, isn't it? Absolutely. And I mean, people who have been long term Liberal Democrats like myself are used to dieting on, you know, good poll results and that being the thing that you sort of feel is almost an achievement in politics. And what's been very different and I think quite unsettling, but also very exciting and quite positive in the last year is, as you say, Liberal Democrat poll ratings have often not been great. But there are huge numbers of Liberal Democrat policies actually being put into practice. And in the end, that's the point of politics, is, is to have a view, view about how society can be made better and to have a chance to implement it. Poll ratings are nice, but they're not really what politics should be about. But, but do you agree that something has gone terribly wrong, that the, the dive in, in the ratings uh, and also in the public perception of uh, Nick Clegg, you know, once described as being as popular as Winston Churchill, I don't think anybody would say that this morning. What's gone so badly wrong? I think when any poll shows you as popular as Winston Churchill, there's really only one way to go uh, subsequent to that. I think the difficulty that Nick Clegg and the Liberal Democrats more generally face is that because the Liberal Democrats got far fewer MPs uh, than either Conservative or Labour at the last election, it's inevitable that overall what a government does, even with Liberal Democrats in it, is not the Liberal Democrat manifesto. It has to include very large parts of the Conservative manifesto. And I think explaining to people why Liberal Democrat MPs are managing to achieve Lib Dem policies in that wider context is certainly a little bit tough at times, but it's certainly quite doable. Sean, some might say it's the U-turns that he's had to yep. make, which, which obviously you might expect it in a coalition. It's not simply down to, to his will. Yeah, I mean, Mark and I have discussed this actually on Talk Sport in the past. I mean, there have been an awful lot of compromises. Mark, you put out the party line very well. You do a very good job at it. But you cannot be happy with the tuition fee situation, with the 9000 pounds that Lib Dem signed a pledge promising they wouldn't do it so it's all very well talking about uh, you know compromise and different manifestos but it, it must really stick in your throat mustn't it? Mark? Well I mean I've said before if I had been an MP uh, last autumn I would have voted against the tuition fee increase uh, for the sorts of reasons that Sean said but that's certainly not the only issue on which the Liberal Democrats have been at the centre of decision making in government. In fact, if you look at uh, what's happened uh, just with the start of the new tax year, there's another 900,000 people who are not having to pay any income tax at all. And that yeah, real drive to well. increase the level of income tax allowance to take millions of people out of income tax is something the Liberal Democrats have been achieving in government. Just on a more superficial level, do you think he's being badly advised? We had the, uh, the fiasco with the internship, the fact that he didn't say that he was given uh, work experience or organised by his father. That, that came across very badly with the public. I think it's a very sensible approach to take and, you know, I think it's perfectly reasonable for someone to say, look, I know I've benefited from certain things in, in my past life. We, we had to find out, though. He didn't to. say we had to find out. I, as I said, I, I think it's, it would almost be worse if somebody were to say, well, look, I've benefited from something in the past, therefore I should, you know, scare work. away from wanting to change the rules at all to open up those opportunities to other people in the future. Mark Pack, co-editor of the Lib Dem Voice, and uh, Sean Dilley, thank, thank you. you very much for coming in.